Welcome to WatchCard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Tuesday's story is an IRS data breach. Today, the IRS reported that criminal attackers gained unauthorized access to over 100,000 taxpayer records. Now, according to IRS, this happened because of the Get Transcript application, which is an app that allows taxpayers to download previous tax returns. But to do so, they have to authenticate by sharing things like their social security number, their address, their date of birth, and other sort of uh, information to uh, validate who they are. Now, according to the IRS, criminal attackers must have gained access to this sensitive information via non-IRS means. They don't know exactly how, but obviously these attackers gained access to that information for around 200,000 victims. And between February and May, uh, these attackers have been using that information via the Get Transcript application to steal tax return information. And they've only been uh, successful in about half the cases, which is why they made off with a hundred thousand records so far. Now, this is pretty significant information. It's everything an attacker would need to do identity theft. And in some cases, your tax return may contain financial information like banking numbers and routing numbers and things like that. Now, if you live in the U.S. and you paid taxes this year, you're probably wondering if you're affected. The IRS says they're going to send emails to the 200,000 victims, including the 100,000 victims that actually had their information stolen. They also say they're going to pay for credit monitoring for the victims that actually lost information, and they've temporarily disabled the Get Transcript application. As an aside, you might remember a previous tax story from a few months ago where criminals were filing fraudulent TurboTax returns to get their victims money back. Now, it hasn't been proven, but this may be related to that particular attack. In any case, it's a very interesting story. If you are in the U.S., you might want to check for that IRS email, and be sure to be very careful when you're sharing this sort of information online. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.